nothing to fear if you have nothing to hide. The Malfoys are interesting characters because there's an element of where do they stand. Clearly they're on the side of the Dark Lord, but how far will you go on that side? Get Draco. And Draco is somewhat torn. He's been raised to be a follower of Voldemort, but he comes to realise that it's not all it's cracked up to be as it were. This isn't who we think it is, Draco. And we call him. He'll kill us all. He's really in a place where I don't think he wants to be part of the evil mafia anymore, and he wants to sort of cut his ties. But of course, he doesn't have a choice in the matter. Um, so he's forever still trying to please Lucius and Narcissa to try and sort of be the next chosen one. Lucius is in a very bad way, actually, because the family have let Voldemort down consistently. And they've been humiliated. In the time that he's been away in Azkaban, his spirit's been broken. And when he tries to stand next to Voldemort and be the right-hand man he always imagined he'd be, Voldemort couldn't be more contemptuous. It's an enormous fall from grace for Lucius because not only does Voldemort not respect him, but his own sister-in-law in his own house doesn't let him call the shots. She's a loose cannon, Bellatrix. Where'd you get that from? bully and like most bullies I think bullies are terrified of everything really. That's her way of disabling me always to terrify. <laughs> I think she's probably frightened to deep down Harry. She's just very mystified that possibly this young boy is way more powerful than Voldemort. She is the only true follower. She just thinks the end is in sight and I'll be queen. Yes! Yes! She's such an extreme character. You're never going to be able to sit with a Sunday paper and have a little chat with Bellatrix. <laughs> I think Bellatrix just horrifies Narcissa, actually. Yeah! Narcissa. She's changed from a woman that had the luxury to think that she ruled the world because she did within her world. And she doesn't anymore. And nobody knows how this war is going to turn out. Narcissa comes to the fore here because she's holding the family together and keeping them, I think, just the right side of the Dark Lord's rock. All of us have really got a loaded gun to our heads. Uh, well, a far worse thing than a loaded gun. See, if any of us make any mistakes, we've got the Dark Lord to answer to. Yeah!